Power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars. When man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dread's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. The sauce is in here. Bring in the locator. I've got the transmitter. Let's go home. 
Database Journal 47-7-1. Captain reporting. En route to Sector 7. Grid coordinates 9 by 5. It used to have a name once. Not anymore. Scott's first attempt with the BioDread receiver gave us enough data to locate their next target. Just hope we get there in time. Pick up anything else? Uh, not yet. That's the problem with biomix. They're hard to pin down. Broadcasting all over the spectrum. Keep at it. Shout if you get anything. Status. Last survey shows three, maybe four hundred civilians in the area. How long to evacuate the whole bunch? Your best guess. Sweet sweeps. Say, uh, one hour. Not good enough. Dread forces could be on us by then. Digitize the whole bunch before we even... Speak of the devil, we got a bomb at six o'clock. Has it seen us yet? I don't think so, not yet. All right, let's keep it that way. Hawk, did you get those antiques installed? Online and ready to go. Fire number one. Two. 90 degree angle, bring us up on it fast. a follow-up attack, but not from two directions at once. That ought to buy us just enough time to get those people out. Maximum burn, pilot. Maximum burn, Captain. Finalize regeneration and complete the mission. Then locate the humans, digitize, and store. Understood, my lord. More salvaged artifacts from Toron for your examination, Lord Grid. Power on. Okay, let's hit it. Keep it loose and be careful. Just let us go. We'll... Quiet. This is what I've been waiting for. Marauders. Looks like it. Hit and run. Take what they can and burn the rest. It's bad enough we have biodreads to worry about, but looters. Humans preying on other humans. Marauders hit the place hard, Captain. Throw everybody out. Well, at least it takes him out of Dredd's hands. Yeah. But I'd have preferred if we could have got him to the passages. Someplace relatively safe. I'd be worried about my own safety right now, if I were you. That voice? I know that voice. Get a fix. Cross and triangulate. Casco. You know him? Yeah, I know him. Name's Casco. Came out of the same place I did. Genetically engineered. A freak. Like you! Like me. Hold it. Much better. 
Now we can talk like civilized people. You have nothing to say to you, Casco? Now is not the time for high and mighties, Michael. Not with the lives of women and children at stake. <laughs> I was about to let him go. And then I saw you drop in. Lucky me. A simple detonator. Radio controlled. In one hour, it's set to go boom! Unless we make a deal. How do we know you really have hostages? Showtime, lady. Do it like I told you. Or it's bye-bye time. Hello? Someone please help us. He's gonna kill us. He's, he's got plastic wire to the door. Where are you? We're, we're... Sorry. I'm dead. Do we deal? What do you want? From you, nothing. It's him I want. We have an old score to settle, don't we? Here's the deal. I'll release the hostages before the bomb goes off. On one condition, that you come out and face me. One on one, without the armor. Think about it, but not too long. Captain. Negative, Tank. It's too dangerous. What if we tell him about the Biodread? He wouldn't believe us. Even if it did, it wouldn't matter. He's crazy. Captain, you've got to let me do it. And if a Biodread gets here and you're not in armor, you won't stand a chance. I know, but we're running out of time. He's right. I don't know what's going to hit first, the blast or a Biodread. But if we don't hurry, those people are finished. All right. Meanwhile, we'll try to find the hostages ourselves. But the second we do, we're coming to get you. You got it? Michael, I'm waiting for you. Street rules? Street rules. Tank, what are the street rules? To the death. much longer. Uh, just a bit. See, I was hoping he'd break it, then leave it. Uh, the speaker may be broken, but there's still the... The crystal. Just interface this with the receiver, and we should be able to locate the other walkie-talkie. Uh, assuming it's still transmitting. Then get to it. We don't have much time. up the frequency loud and clear. We can track it. Good. Pilot, how much time? We got 20 minutes till the bomb goes up, but who knows when a bio drill will get here. Then let's get started. Which way? You know, I was thinking, 
time's nearly up. If you don't find those people soon, boom! Guess you should take this before they get hurt. Here, take it. Time is left. Five minutes. But I decided, why wait? One little push of the button, and bye-bye. And I wanted you to see it happen. I want your last thoughts to be that those people died because of you! This is it. me you want? Noble. Right to the end. Sad, really. You've lost the killer instinct. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were holding back. Get out of here, fast. Move it. Stand a chance. No, Michael. I don't lose. Not yet. Over there! Captain Power and his bunch, they're over there! Organic sighting!
okay? How you doing? When I escaped Babylon 5, I swore I put that life behind me, start over. And he comes along, brings it all back. Makes me just like him. You're not like him. He enjoyed what he did, you don't. The thing is, when I finally beat him, God help me, Captain, I liked it. So what makes me different? Tank, he wanted to fight. But you held back as long as you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you used sheer force. You had to, or be killed. Now the difference is, he was fighting for revenge. You, you were fighting for them. Will that do? For now. All right. All right, people, next stop, the passengers. And let's head home. Amen. Closing in on Dread. Watch for base stations. Thank you. 